<coughs> What's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Penzance. The van is back there. We drove down in the motorhome last night. We're in Penzance in Cornwall. I'm heading down to the coast right now, which is just going to be down here. There doesn't currently seem like a lot of life going on right, like right now in this town, uh, but today is the start of the 2021 Tour of Britain. It starts in Penzance in Cornwall. If you're watching this video right now, the day it goes live is probably Tuesday, uh, which means we'll be on stage number three already, and you will have seen that I'm not in the team this year for my for my team Rebel Well Tight. Uh, sadly, I didn't make the cut this year. I did a little post on like Instagram and stuff. Obviously, I'm gutted not to not to be here. It's something I've worked like worked hard for all year i guess but um yeah with the team time trial this year in stage number three it was always going to be like a tight ask to make the team uh with the time trialing talent that the team has obviously that team time trial is a stage that the team's targeting so yeah we didn't we didn't make the cup but it's all right it's all right we move however i have managed to bag myself one of these uh a media pass not exactly sure what I can and can't do with this thing, uh, but we're going to be following the race now for the next eight stages from start to finish. Brother, that is a huge seagull. Oh my god, yo, it's like a heron. It's like the same size as the flipping swan, man. Jeez. Mate, why are, why are seagulls so big in Cornwall? What the hell? It's like, mate, you belong in a zoo. But as I was saying, I've got a media pass. Uh, we're going to be following the race over the next eight days. Uh, and yeah, checking out some some different parts of the country and just, yeah, I don't know, seeing, seeing where the journey takes us. I'm down here with Chris. He's doing some work on the Tour of Britain as well. So yeah, I just thought I'd join him for the ride. They're just closing all the road off right now. Tour of Britain, delays likely. The finish is just going to be about 500 metres down this road. And as you can see from those flags, it's bloody windy this morning in Cornwall. So this is the start straight. As you can see, there's the banner. The is going to come out and follow the seafront down before making the way to Bodmin. The time right now is 8 a.m. The race doesn't start officially until 11. Oh, yeah, got a few hours to go now. But people and seagulls are already starting to gather here. I found the beach. I have found the beach in Cornwall, though it does not look that inviting today. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit dark and it's a bit, mm, a bit grim, a bit grim. Probably not going to go swimming in there today. So the race starts on the other side of this roundabout. The riders are going to come up here straight into this berg at kilometer zero. Mate, today's stage is going to be so hard. The terrain today is just up and down all day. The police bikes are starting to come through, which means the race is not far away right now. Here we go. Tora Britain stage one is underway. Here we go. Hey Chris, let's have it. You saw the roll out there. Who was looking good? Who's your, who's your pick for today? Um, having studied the, the parkour, I'm going to say it's Cav. Cab. Really? Or lamps. I think that neutral is A big lamp here trying to go for the breakaway in his home county. Stage number one. Man, this, is a, this is a pretty mint setup right now. Is this technically illegal? This is illegal, this is illegal though, isn't it? Okay, I'll, I'll stop filming myself then. <laughs> Don't you love it when you're shaving your legs and you forget to do this little strip here? <laughs> Me? What's wrong with that? What's you look, wrong with that? that just, 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 I, I don't even know. What it, just, I've, not, I've got no words. I've got, Where are yours? Where does yours go to? Mate, my legs. I haven't shaved my legs in about three weeks. I look, I, I look like I look like a gorilla right now. So we're going to drive to the finish now. The riders are meandering their way around Cornwall. This stage today is like 180 kilometers, but for us, it's just a one-hour drive. So I should probably explain what I'm actually doing at the Tour of Britain this year. Uh, I'm here with Chris, who is basically leading some like VIP uh, rides for over the last 15 or 20k of each stage with like different people in each location. Uh, I'm not 100% sure as to exactly what Chris is doing. I'm not really involved in it, but I just thought that I would come along uh, for the journey and kind of yeah document from my perspective the Tour of Britain from the spectator side of the fence. Obviously, I'd love to be racing in it. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, it is quite hard being here, seeing the racing going on, like knowing that 
I could be in that race and I'm not. But hey, that's what that's how things go sometimes. So we're in Bodmin right now. This is like the final 1.5k. As you can see, the riders are going to cut like descend. It's a, le a tight left and a tight right hander down this hill. We've got some road furniture in the middle of the road. The finish is about a K down this way. And then hopefully you can see right in the distance, it climbs up the other side of this hill. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a pretty chaotic final couple of kilometers coming into Bodmin. Hopefully, fingers crossed all the riders stay safe. And I'm gonna head down now and try and find Chris, uh, who has ridden the final kilometer and get, uh, or he's ridden the final 15 kilometers. So let's go and catch up with him and see what his, like his opinions, his thoughts are on the final of this, this race. And, and hopefully he can give us a bit of insight as to what ahead of the riders uh, who are gonna be coming. They're gonna be finishing in like two hours time. So we've got a bit of time to kill right now. Gonna try and find a good spot to watch the finish. Chris, what, what's the last 15K like? Three hours later. Rolling. There's like one, two, maybe three, like really short, yeah. like 17, 18 percenters. And then coming up here. It's a technical finish, isn't it? Yeah, very. And really deep, really deep. How's your pick change? Who's your pick for today? I'm going to go with Alain Philippe. Wow, I know. Or Ethan, Ethan Vernon. <laughs> Let's get a quick little boogie before we go home. Come on then. Yeah. All right, Mr. Pritchard, what's the plan now? Where are we going? Well, I'm just having a look as to where we need to be for tomorrow to do the ride. We're looking to get to around 15k to go from the, the finish. Okay, so we're going to drive there now. We're going to drive there now. Okay, let's go. Go on then, you drive. Oh, yeah. my turn. Yeah. 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 We made a quick stop on our voyage to stage two because last night between the three of us we managed to rinse through all the water in the motorhome in the showers we've got no water for showers this evening and uh, hey, we've managed to found what you left something unplugged no the water turned on it just all leaked out this lad yeah you, he has i've never met someone that showers as long as chris pritchard oh, showers sorry for, sorry, sorry for he has yeah, to wash oh, his hair he conditions his hair so long. Oh. He, he, he washes his beard an hour at least in the shower, me. You exactly. Know, uh, so anyway, long story short, Chris has used up all the water. We're out of water. We've we've had a look, tried to find some water from a few different places. We've managed to find some water from Shell, big up Shell from the air and water thing, and it's free. The only downside is it's taking forever because it's like the slowest. Uh, I mean, you may, it's for filling up your, like your wind uh, windscreen wash, so it's not exactly meant for a. For a motorhome kind of expecting the the people inside to come out and tell us off shortly but they haven't so far what are you doing i heard you get out of the car what are you doing get back in the get back in the van children man children two hours later sorry mate <laughs> Thank you, Shell, for your water. It's kindly appreciated. We also didn't get told off for using it, so hey, it's a win all round. So that's stage number one from Penzance to Bodmin, done and dusted. The winner today was, was it your pick? Did you pick Wat Van Yeah, I did pick him, mate. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, you said Alaphilippe, I said Wat Van Aert. All right, well, there we go. Chris got the pick today over me. That's one nil to you. We go again tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I need to try and redeem myself. So last night we parked up in the camper van around 60k to go from the finish of stage number two right on top of the Dartmoor National Park which as you can see this morning is absolutely incredible. I mean it is kind of influenced by the fact that it's like 25 degrees right now and it's only half past nine in the morning. Essentially we woke up this morning Chris is going to drive the camper van from this point all the way to the finish in Exeter which is over that hill somewhere. And so I can get my own training in today. I'm going to ride the last 60K. It'll also be good to kind of see what the riders have got ahead of them later on this afternoon. The riders aren't going to be coming over this road until about two o'clock this afternoon. So in like four hours time, just over four hours. So hopefully they're not going to catch me and I'm going to be able to have a peaceful ride 
all the way into Exeter. But there is literally people already here on the roads. It's amazing to see like how much, uh, like how well received cycling and, and bike racing is in the UK. Like the fans just absolutely love it. Luckily there's not much wind around today because it is so open and exposed up here. I can imagine it could be pretty grim if it was windy. We are at 40k to go right now. And I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but this is a bloody bug. This is a bloody bug. There is a KOM point at the top of this, but I'm trying to take it easy and it ain't even, it ain't that easy at all. Especially 40k to go, the wires are going to be absolutely smashing it up here. Hello sheep. <laughs> you ready for the race? <laughs> there is literally people everywhere waiting for the race. It's so sick. Oh, yeah. I hope this geezer you don't get involved in the race. You stay back, you. Bosh. There's 15k to go, son. So it took about two hours to do the last 60k, but we made it. Uh, we're in Exeter now, found the camper van, and the boys somehow have managed to wangle the way in to the team parking area. Like, all of the team buses are down there. The Israel Startup Nation, like Ineos, Yumba Visma, you name it. We're in like the team parking. I have no idea how we are here. The finish line is there. That's like the 200 meters to go point. But hey, at least we are close to the finish. I'm gonna get a quick shower now and then head down and watch some bike racing. I just checked my phone and they're about 80k away, so we've got a bit of time to kill and it's flipping up. It's really hot today. Definitely not supposed to be here. Definitely not supposed to be here. Right, so our camper van yeah, is there. There is about 50 police bikes here. We are currently parked in double yellows. Hopefully we don't get a ticket. The road is currently closed and we have got a media badge on the car, on the van, so hopefully we don't get a ticket. Uh, but who knows? Maybe we're gonna get a ticket. And if we do, I'm not paying for it because Chris parked there. Chris? You say Chris? Around here, mate. We somehow managed to get into like the finishing pen today uh, to watch the riders come through. Like the roads were just insanely busy again. We could not see the finish. We thought that we'd try and get in, and it, it's becoming more and more apparent to me. Like if you walk somewhere in this race, right, with, you, with our media badges on, which all right, let's be let's face it, they're not that hard to get hold of, buddy. You have to fill your name out onto a form, and you get one of these badges. Yeah, they don't really get you anywhere. They're not like the team badges. They're not like the technical race director badges. But if you have one of these badges on you and you just point it at someone and say, I'm with the race, they let you through. <laughs> I think it's more to do with the face though. What, your face? No, your face. They look at it and they, they, go, they, don't, they have no idea who I am. Yeah, but it's beautiful. But anyway, we managed to... Uh, see ya. See you later. We managed, I'll text you, on. We ma I'll text you about that jersey. Sorry. Exclusive. <laughs> but we managed to get into the finish zone. Uh, we watched Robin Carpenter take an emphatic solo victory and become the leader of the 2021 Tour of Britain of stage two, uh, after stage two. I called that one as well. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. We didn't do a prediction today, actually. No, you, did, you just didn't record it. Remember when I, this morning when I looked at the thing? We I didn't said, do a prediction today. Robin it's still 1 0 to Chris Pritchard. I've okay. got how many more stages? I've got like six more stages yeah. to bring it back. Team time job tomorrow. Do you want to predict it tomorrow? Nah, that's tomorrow's video. You're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. Rev it! Rev it! But right now the race is done and dusted and we're gonna have a quick drink and something to eat in one of the UK's what can only be described as a British delicacy. You what? lying piece of shit. You just said you're not going to eat. Nah, we can, we can have, you can have Isn't something. just for the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, anyway, anyway, as I was saying, one of, 
<laughs> one of the British Britain's most highly regarded delicacies, Weatherspoons. <laughs> Mate, I'm from the northwest, and Weatherspoons, where I'm from, don't look like this. So last night we parked up here on the side of this main road which was closed so there was absolutely no one on it it was dead quiet and this morning the road's back open again and it is so busy and so noisy but yeah this is this was home for last night i didn't end the video then uh, because we'd been driving for like five hours and it was pitch black and you couldn't see anything so i thought i would just end the video this morning so thank you for watching uh we're now in wales we're going to continue our voyage in wales today so you have to stay tuned for that in the next video i'll see you then Tell her she can hop on She know I'm the top dog I know she a hot one Balenci's on the feet And you know I got the socks on yeah, She said yeah. with my high socks She ain't with no knock off See them we gon' pop off